Greetings, Chromatic Warriors. I hope you've been busy since the last time we spoke. Last time I was touching on the value of solitude and the gift that it gives us. And today I wanted to share some of the words that I often find myself telling my students, you know, on, on Patreon, at conventions, progress, the road before you, and uh, how it's made of the past. Oftentimes with my students, I'll describe the learning process as either a never-ending kaleidoscope of pain or an ever-extending ladder of fun. It's all about perspective. So we know we are given an amount of energy for each day. We are constantly living in the present, but we do have memory and we do have hopes for the future. And the way we spend our free time and invest in the present is the return that we get in the future. Um, normally, I, I would prefer to shoot the video outside, but it was too windy. It brought me inside. First, I tried uh, recording down in the basement, but didn't quite l like the look of it. Now I'm here on uh, the never-before-seen other wall of the studio. Two walls. But what is behind me is partially work from other people, and some of it is work that I've done myself a long time ago. Um, this one right here is from 2009, and at that time I thought that was I, was... I was working at a tattoo shop, I was really pushing myself to become more of an artist. I was uh, participating on Cool Mini or Not, I found the massive voodoo blog, but what I want to say about that is at one point that was the best that I could do. You know, I was, I was making all these paintings to produce prints of, and I like to tell people that, you know, a lot of people are, their emotions get high around competitions or just finish lines in general. And it is important to just be finishing things. Each finished piece represents how good you are that day. So if you pick up your brushes and start working tomorrow, you'll become a better artist. And that is why I like to say the road ahead is paved with the present. Who can really say what the future holds? There are things beyond your control and there are things within your control. Focus on the things that you can have control over that give you a more positive return. There aren't many pieces that I've painted that truly feel complete. I remember my boss at the tattoo shop, she told me that a true piece of artwork is never completed, it's only abandoned. You know, there are always second thoughts and things that you can look back and feel differently about. You could probably, you know, show the works of the great masters. I, I could show the Mona Lisa to Da Vinci and he may uh, wish he changed the silhouette of the tree line a little bit in the back. I like to believe that every piece is an experiment, a chance to try something new, even if it's the tenth time I've painted the color blue. There are just so many ways to, to render that with uh, warmth and just alternate tones. So enjoy the struggle because your progress is built on continuous failures, you know, continuous experiments. You may try something and it, it doesn't come out looking the way that you wanted it to. Ask yourself if it looks like something else. Sometimes you can have a happy accident and create an accidental texture, but embrace the struggle, enjoy the failure. And on that notion, not every piece has to be completed. Not every sketch becomes a fully rendered masterpiece. Not every game is the Super Bowl. So in your free time, which is precious, and you should be spending it wisely, you may uh, see a weakness in your own painting. So I would suggest take a single evening to invest in just mastering that weakness. Make it a strength. If edge highlighting is difficult for you, take a night and just work on a spare model, doing the edges, and then just throw it onto the fire of learning, right? You'll, you have plenty of unpainted models to keep coming. It's very hard to not continuously buy things, so let go a little bit. And sometimes you may need to take an evening to practice. I could describe to you how to do a flip, but I do not, I can't do a flip. I would have to practice some jumping first, practice the fundamentals. So just know that the more time you invest, the better you will get at this. 
You're not going to wake up in a castle. It has to be built brick by brick. And as you get higher, which getting high is a, is a good thing in this case, your skills are improving, your towers rise, the kingdom is strong. What a stronghold. Also, you are the company that you keep. Consider where you're spending your time and what is feeding into you. Spend your time around people who have a positive influence on you, who have a constructive nature, if that's what you're after. Spend your time in inspiring places. Um, there's a lot of things that are going to be thrown at you. You consume information accidentally in the modern world. I go to the grocery store, I see all these headlines. I know so much about that guy who made Tesla cars without ever trying to, to learn about that. So sometimes you may have to push through some of the confusion and your company, your good friends, your inspiring places can help. On a personal note, keep pushing. I am heading to Denmark this weekend to spend time at the Army Painter headquarters. And when I get back, I'm continuing my work on my volume in the Art Of series. I never knew what doors would open. I knew that if I kept pushing in a, in a certain direction that opportunities would come my way. That's personal, but for each of you, there's probably some version of that. So focus on that. Looking into the past, the road is made of the future, right? So think about those turning points in the past that really changed you for the better, you know, that motivated you to create and paint, get more involved in positive ways and try to seek those out again in the future, right? It's going to be built on intentions. Life is built on thoughts. Lastly, check out my Patreon. I'm making tutorials over there and I'd like to leave you with a horse lord's blessing. May there always be 1,000 horses in your herd.